Hi everyone, haven't done a Blender video in a while, but I have still been working on it. So, I'm going to cover how I came up with this animation based on an existing animation that I modified <coughs> using the append function to add this troll character and also using layers to keep things from getting all cluttered up. So we just jump right into it, go into Blender. So I started with this animation that you might remember if you've seen my previous videos. So it's just a ready stance. It's basically 40 frames long. Everything after 40 is just more or less a loop. So we can start at frame 40, delete all the rest of these, which I've already done that for this file. So you see here we share the first 40 frames, come to frame 50. Now we're squatting down, getting ready to jump, bring up our weapon, and thrust. So you can see I uh, didn't really move the mesh, he just kind of goes through the motions. So in order to give him a target. We'll just open up this file. So to add this troll, we're going to file, and then file, append, which is also shift F1. That will give you this list of your blender files. I want to add this troll. And I'm going to add the object that is the primitive or native object for the character, which is going to be this plane. You see it doesn't have a suffix, so I know it is the original object that was created. So if we double click that, that gives us a troll character. You get the idea. I can just delete that. Get him turned around. So now we have everything in the scene. So I'm going to select my troll mesh and the armature. Press M to bring up the layers. And you can see I added it to the second layer. So these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 through 0. The bottom row is Alt plus 1 through 0. If we get out of that, see the troll and his armature on the second layer. So we used File, Append to add the object that is this troll. In this case it was a plane. Again, uh, if it's a tree, it may be a cylinder object or a sphere or whatever the primitive or native object was that you used to create the model. You're going to add that to your scene. Press M. And then we're going to put it on a different layer from this guy. So you can see they're on two different layers. So now that we have a target, we can take our jump animation. Again, we started with these first 40 frames already done. So then we go to where the pose for the peak for the peak of the jump, the highest point about there, and then we would move it a little bit closer, going in for the strike, 
See, we're headed towards his face. He's smart enough to get his head out of the way, but leaves us the ear exposed. So as we're coming down, you can see I changed the thrust into a two-handed weapon. So he's not just thrusting with one hand, he's swinging down with a two-handed weapon. So maybe we catch the top of the ear or take the whole ear off and then it cleaves into this shoulder. Then we land on the little pot belly. Gives us a nice cushy landing. So here's part of the reason for the layers and posing this landing. You know, it's kind of hard to see through this model to make sure everything's connected correctly. Check our clipping. So I can just hit one. Now I just have to worry about this. And I can bring the second layer in whenever I need to reference it and switch between them whenever I feel like it. So I hope that helped and that's how we get this. So again just a quick walk through we started with, let me just set up these frames real quick. So we started with this animation. It was just setting up a stance. And we added the rest of these. And we added the rest of these keyframes to make it jump in place originally. It was jumping just here, just going through the different poses. So then when we use Shift F1 or File Append, will bring us a list of our Blender files. So then we just open up any one of these. You see it brings folders of the different data that makes up the blender file. Add an object. Uh, most characters, the native object is going to be a plane. They use some people, depending on the art style, may start with a cylinder or a cube and modify it to create the character. If you're doing Minecraft stuff, you could probably just start with a cube. So you would import that cube that constitutes the object that you want to add. So now we have a target. We can move our character through space as he's jumping to get closer to the target. And then like here, you know, it might be hard to see through some stuff. So right here is actually punching him in the chin. But again, if you follow the handle between the hands, the blade would still be like in this area maybe. So the troll turns his face out of the way, loses an ear. And then we land snugly on his cushy belly. And yeah, we'll figure out what to do with it from here. I think I'm going to have to start working with the graph editor. So I think the default interpolation style should be linear, so it should be a constant speed. But we know if we're jumping at this point, it would be slower. And then back here at the beginning of the jump, we can see our dude. Where'd he go? And we can see our dude. Right here would be the liftoff. Would not be the same speed 
as when he gets closer to the top. Same thing here, he would begin to fall faster and faster instead of more slowly. And then catch yourself. But that's going to do it for this one. Hope that helps people. Again, layers are handy for keeping things from getting too cluttered. Like here, I could work on posing this, tweaking it some more if I want to. If I add the troll, see, it's just going to be in the way. And then likewise for this landing, I could take my bones here in the gut, maybe give them a little shake, a little jiggle, so when my when the other character lands on it, give it a little bounce. That's going to do it for this one. Hope to see you in the next one.